Horn and I'm a nurse practitioner. Today I'm going to teach you a little bit about Hirschsprung disease and why it's important to know how to perform a rectal irrigation in the event your child has it. Awesome. My name's Taylor and I have to tell you I'm a little bit nervous about learning this, but I know it's really important. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? Hirschsprung disease is a condition that affects the large intestine, also called the colon, and causes problems with passing stool. Your baby was born with it. The colon is missing nerve cells in the muscles of part or all of the baby's large intestine. A newborn that has Hirschsprung's disease is usually unable to have a bowel movement in the first few days after birth. In mild cases, the condition might not be detected until later on in childhood. Hirschsprung disease is eventually treated with surgery to bypass or remove the disease part of the colon. Okay, that all makes a lot of sense. I have to tell you, I'm pretty worried having a child diagnosed with Hirschsprung's disease. What should I really worry about? One of the things we always want to keep an eye out for in kids with Hirschsprung's disease is something called enterocolitis, which is an infection inside the large intestine. This can happen before or after surgery. Enterocolitis is caused by an overgrowth in bacteria in the large intestine and can potentially lead to life-threatening complications. Some of the signs of enterocolitis are a fever of greater than 101 degrees Fahrenheit, a firm and full belly, your child not stooling for 24 hours, a decreased appetite, vomiting, especially if it's green in color, explosive diarrhea, abnormal or foul smelling stool or gas, and lethargy, which means your baby might be seeming very tired. So how do I know that it's not a GI bug? Sure, it can be hard to tell. In kids with Hirschsprung's disease, it's important that you never just assume that they have a regular GI bug. They, if they have these symptoms, it's important that they be evaluated. And how do they treat that? Sure, it's treated with a combination of antibiotics and rectal irrigations. The antibiotics you'll need to get from your doctor, but we have irrigations that we can teach you to do at home, and we actually have another video that we can show you how to do that. Thanks for clarifying. I will definitely check out that video and I feel like I learned so much today. Thank you so much.